Hey guys, what's going on? This is all about Mac 27, and today I am showing you a new uh, update into the iOS um, features for your iPhone uh, and iPad Touch as well, and probably the iPad, but some um, of it relates to the iPad. So basically, this is iOS 6, as you can see, um, and we're going to open up the music app, and this is the update that I'm talking about. As you see, the music app is different, so um, there's it is now white, all the uh, layout is different. And obviously you, you have your um, slider on the right um, and your playlist on the bottom, but the color scheme is different. And also when you go into your now playing songs, also the controls down here are different as well. Um, and at the top it's black. So these are a couple different features. Also, as you see, the volume slider does not go all the way to the end. Um, so that could be an issue for some people because um, they don't have as much control over volume uh, as previously. But for me, it was not too much of an issue. So that's basically the new updated um, uh, music app for your um, iPhone. Obviously, you can add playlists and stuff like that. Um, another feature that they have now changed is the iTunes store. So we're going to go over to the store and as you see it is completely different on the bottom. Um, obviously they're going to be the same type of things like music, movies and stuff, but now they have a whole new layout um, and they're trying to go to this theme where you scroll like this. Um, they've implemented this on the iPad as well um, and up here like so. So basically, that's what you're going to be able to do. You can view um, and listen to top songs like Call Me Maybe, Wide Awake, Somebody That I Used to Know, and Payphone. So you can view those uh, just like usual. And what another feature is, as you see next to Somebody That I Used to Know, um, is a button called Listen. So what they've done is if you've already bought in the song, you can now listen to your previously bought songs in iTunes. So all we have to do is press Listen and uh, it will start playing. And that's really cool because you also you know which songs you bought and you can just listen to them. Also, if you're downloading, it shows the status in your um, in iTunes itself. And also that's the same for uh, the App Store. So if you go into the App Store here, um, and it's also the same type of chart here. Um, they've implemented these different colors. I like the color scheme. Obviously, this is beta, so they could change it, but I don't think they will. Um, the color scheme looks really nice, and also they've implemented this slider um, feature here, like so. And if you've bought the app, um, it will show up in here as well. Um, I'll try to find some of the apps that I bought um, and it also shows that it's downloading so uh, let's see I've not bought that but um, well basically that's about it for your uh, iTunes and um, your App Store app uh, let's see genius for apps is not currently available on iOS 6 so uh, I guess that's a feature that will come later um, also I ran into an issue on the beta I think let's see the purchased up oh, they do come up previously the purchased ones were not coming up so that would have been an issue but it's okay now so basically that's all uh, for this video um, the music app is updated the iTunes and the App Store is updated so those are just a couple of features that were updated uh, just basically the color scheme and layout of the actual apps that are provided by Apple were changed so if you have any questions about these uh, new changes please comment below check out the written article for this uh, at my website allabout-mac.com please subscribe it really helps me out and thank you for watching have a very nice day